It's not shocking that more than 50% of Indians prefer online banking over conventional banking with 24-hour access to their accounts, anytime funds transfer and billing payments. But if you are not careful, banking from the comfort of your living room opens up a range of security risks that can be avoided if you are very very careful. So here in this video, I am giving you 10 realistic online banking protection tips to help you have a better online banking experience. So let's get started. Before starting, do follow me on my social media account pages and don't forget to subscribe my channel for such interesting awareness videos. So let's get started with our first tip. The first rule of banking is simply to build and periodically change a strong password. If you are permitted to construct a strong password, use often random strings of lower cases and upper cases, numbers and some symbols. Be safe and never use personal stuffs like no birthdays, no pet names, spouse name and your favorite food. Use genuine antivirus software to protect your device from phishing, ransomware and other security threats. Antivirus allows spyware which can steal your sensitive information and track it. It might seem easy but to avoid online cheating also means taking some necessary steps regularly like checking your bank statement regularly and contacting the bank for suspicious charges. Most banks have detail on their website such as last logged in or login history. So if you find irregularities then change your password and immediately contact your bank. Free and public Wi-Fi networks are also not secure so hackers can easily steal your personal details. I would suggest you to use a dedicated browser for banking. However, when you are in a rush, find a private place and transact by using your mobile data hotspot. Another thing you should be vigilant to ensure that the website of your bank has the lock symbol in the web address bar and starts with HTTPS, not the HTTP. This certainly ensures that the web is protected and all the data is translated until it is sent into unreadable gibberish thereby protecting your privacy. For a number of reasons, most banks provide clients with text and email updates. This involves receiving a message when a certain amount is transacted, when your balance falls below a certain amount and more. The bank uses these alerts to warn you when you have access to your account. If you see any irregularities in this transaction, then keep your bank assistant numbers handy and you need to prevent it right away. By actually using an additional safety layer, you can help avoid identity fraud and its many problems, also known as two-factor authentication. Many banks provide two-factor authentication system anytime you try to log in where the bank sends an SMS or email with an unique verification code which you need to feed in the website along with your username and password. Typing the bank URL yourself is always safer than getting it via promotional email or any third party sites. As already mentioned, a bank will never ask for your account's details or credentials. There is a big risk of your login credentials being stolen. Therefore, if there is a fraudulent email offering you to redirect to the bank's website and after clicking on the landing page, you enter your personal details. So treat it with suspicion if you receive a bank's email requesting login details. As I said before, no bank would ever request that you share sensitive personal or account information through emails, text, messages or phone calls. Whenever a complaint is lodged, the bank always makes contact with you and will verify that it is you by asking for your account and personal information. Phishing scams are only one type of fraud that requires information from your bank so that millions can deposit as a prize you have just won. None of these emails will ideally react, but if you would like to confirm your next task, contact your bank using your bank's website, official numbers or email addresses or other authentic handles and authorized channels. Like the original Trojan horse malware, if accidentally downloaded, it could sneak in and cause some serious harm. The good news is that probably the secure place you can transact is the encrypted mobile app of your bank. 
Just remember to use only apps of known authorized sources such as the Google Play Store or the App Gallery or the App Store to download. Avoid being robbed off of session hijacking or cross-site scripting by always signing out when you are finished. A personal browser that clears its cage at the end of the session allows you to add another layer of security to the device or the mobile phone. Technology is getting better and better and with that comes new challenges and risk for us. By constantly remaining alert and following the tips I mention in this video, the internet banking experience can be guarded and simplified to a smooth breeze. With that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, hit the like button and share it with your loved ones. If you didn't like, I'm sorry for that, but do put down the reason in the comment section below. Alright, so let's meet in the next video. Until then, this is Manish signing off.